Good evening, everyone. So today I'll be making a Italian pasta salad. Minus a few things. It is for a party and it is per request of the person having the party. So this is everything that I will be using. Um, Normally for this I would put little small... Pepperoni, sorry, brain freeze. Pepperonis in it. Um, I have done it where I've added some calamari. And it works just fine. It's just to your liking. But this one will not have any of the pepperoni or calamari. So, we're going to need two garlic, one green onion, a red onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow or orange bell pepper. Sometimes it comes through in a pack. Uh, some parsley, tomatoes. Preferably, I like these tomatoes just because it's kind of sweet at the same time, but... Kind of salty so it makes a nice blend um, with the salt and the sweetness for cheese we are going to put Parmesan cheese as well as some Italian five cheese and as well as Parmesan cheese in there we are going to need two cucumbers two wishbone house dressing salt these are black olives i only have these because they're in a little packet and i currently have them but other than that i'll just buy a jar so we are going to use about six of those as far as seasoning one red bell pepper flakes pepper flakes black pepper basil Parsley, oregano, Italian seasoning, which is just a mix of basil, parsley, and some other items in there. Uh, we are going to use some garlic powder and complete seasoning, butter, some green olives. And then the tricolor pasta, you can make it with whatever color pasta. It doesn't have to be tricolor. If you start off with tricolor and you need more, feel free to add another box. All right. And what I am going to do, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put the pasta right here. I'm going to put the pasta to boil with some salt, olive oil, this, this, and some of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to that part and put the pasta to boil. I'm going to chop up the garlic, chop up. So while this is boiling, in a few, it should be good to put the pasta in. 
I'm going to go ahead and start chopping these. So just to cool off the pot so it doesn't cook any further, you want to turn on the cold water and just let it run for a little bit. Turn it off and drain it. Like I said before, I don't measure things so I kind of already know what and how much. So I am going to put about half of this spoon into here half and mix it in while it is still hot but not really hot but just hot enough to melt the butter that will cover any extra salt that it might be missing and give it some flavor add to the taste so once I've stirred that in I will let it cool off and finish chop up my vegetables so the only thing that I am doing is cutting the onion in half like this the only thing I did was chop the onions and I will dice them again just to make sure that there's not any big bulky pieces in there so when you bite into it it's not just onion your taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my bell pepper. Everything's currently a mess. So the bell pepper I just want in little small cubes. Just like this. And we're gonna cut all of them like that. So this is our red onion bell peppers and cucumber all diced up and ready to be put in here i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back to the video so based off of how much pasta i have here which is one big pot i'm going to use about half of the green olives excuse my counter I still have things on the counter that I was chopping and mixed in the peppers and cucumber the bell peppers and cucumbers and this is what it looks like I still have to add the black olive and the green olive as well as the cheese and the house seasoning all right so I've put in the black olives and the green olives I'm gonna mix everything in and I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese, the five cheese, the salad, as well as the Parmesan cheese. I'm going to pour in both bottles and sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese again and chop up this parsley, not all of it, but probably like half of it to put in there. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, all of those bell peppers and onions, they're gonna be raw. But the thing is, after you've boiled it and you've cooled it down with some cold water so it's not to the point where it's still cooking, even though you don't see that it's cooking, it is still cooking while it's that hot. So after you pour out the water and you put in the butter, if you have already have everything all chopped up, you can put in the bell pepper, the onions, and everything else so the heat kind of cook it kind of like steaming it so it's not as raw as it would be if you just chop it up and put it in so for the black olives because I did use these little 
olives some that was already pre-sliced luckily and the other one was not I used four or five containers in here and a good portion of the green olives I've already started to put the five cheese in here and where is my other cheese where is my cheese So now it's the Parmesan. Let the camera focus. focus. So depending on your liking, you can put more or less Parmesan cheese in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some oregano. Once again, I do not measure. I somehow know exactly how much, but depending on how well this video does, I might make this again and then measure it so you can have an accurate measurement of how much to put in there. That was oregano. This is basil, dry basil leaves. Once again, if you ever seen that meme that says that we just pour until our ancestors tell us to stop well that meme is highly accurate for me so still sprinkling that basil all right now we're going to put that Italian seasoning yeah it looks like a lot but in actuality for a big pot like this it is really not once I stir everything in and it blends you won't even notice it it'll basically be very obsolete okay and some black pepper black pepper is to your liking not required so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up so I can put in my sauce be back in a sec I've mixed it in not as well as I should but just for the sake of time because this pasta is for a party that I'm making it I'm gonna go ahead and shake up this is probably the best thing to use I've tried making it with other Italian sauce and it doesn't come out as well with all the flavors going on in here, this, the Wishbone House Italian, just seems to bring everything together and make a perfect harmony in your mouth. So, like I said, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and put in the entire bottle and I will finish mixing it up. I just want to wrap up the video. Oh, yeah. Just put that all in there. That Haitian and Dominican, that's within me, love flavor. So, complete bottle. I'm going to stir it up to see if I actually need the entire second bottle, or I might just put half of the second bottle. So, let's mix it. so loud okay so based off of what I am seeing right now we could do with half half of the other bottle yeah I just kind of tasted it really quick we can get away with doing half of the other bottle just so it's not overpowering you want it flavorful but not extreme that it's just you want it flavorful, but not extreme, where it's overpowering and it's just too much going on in your mouth. We're gonna go ahead and add our parsley. Oh yeah. I am going to mix that in. I do have dry parsley, 
that I'm going to just garnish the top once I have it in the pan and put it in the refrigerator and leave it till it's ready to be put out and just before it's served so that it stays cold remember you have a lot of fresh vegetables in there and they can go bad so we have practically everything in here but I did forget to grab my tomatoes it's not a pasta salad without tomatoes such beautiful colors great for the holidays as well so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in get it ready put it in the pan and I will take a picture of it after gotta hurry up and clean up okay so I've mixed and mixed and it is now time to add some more cheese I'm gonna stir that then this time I will actually come back when I've put it in the pan and took in a picture of it so this is the end result this is what it looks like made a little mess while putting it so yeah ready to be served